Welcome to another training video from ArrayMold. Today we're going to explain how to create custom TMAs using the 1mm ArrayMold. This is the custom TMA template we will be using for this project. First what I like to do is mark out the layout on a blank TMA block. A sharpie works really well for this purpose. Now we can see exactly where we want to insert the tissue cores. Don't forget to mark the control holes also. Now we can begin to fill the TMA block. As you can see from the markings, it makes it really easy to see the exact location you will be inserting the tissue cores in. I would highly recommend a magnifying lamp if you're punching inserting cores because they're a bit hard to see over time. I often take breaks in the middle of constructing a TMA to give my eyes a rest and focus on farther objects. Now for the control spots. Now I'm finished with the TMA construction part. There are a lot of empty holes and they will need to be filled. I have created a blank paraffin block with Paraplast Extra Paraffin for this purpose. Filling the blank spots with paraffin may feel tedious, but it's very important for the structural integrity of your TMA block. This is easy to do and it's good practice for getting your punch techniques down. If you want to do the blank paraffin cores first, and then tackle the tissue cores later, you can. This is a good way of getting practice before you start doing your main cores. Once you have filled the holes with tissue and paraffin, you will need to set your punches. Setting a TMA block is covered in several of our videos, including our up and running TMA video. Thanks for watching.